questions that I get asked a lot after what's it like to live in Washington DC is where to live in Washington. A lot of people want to know what are the best neighborhoods. You have to remember a lot of folks who are watching YouTube are living in different countries, they're living in different cities, and they want to relocate to the area and they want to know where are some of the best places to live. So I've been asked that enough times in the comment section and of course in my DM that I figure, I think maybe it's now time to answer that question. Let me also go up on record and saying a few things before I get started with my list. Everybody's tastes are different. Everybody's budget is different. And I, I also need you to know something. I may be on YouTube, but I ain't bowling. I ain't rich. I live on a modest, a very modest salary, okay? So let me just put that out there. But the places that I'm going to put on this list are places that I feel safe. Um, I think they're aesthetically pleasing. There are places that you know you could have fun outside. You'd feel you know good going restaurant or bar hopping. And I think a lot of people who watch this channel they have similar tastes to me, so they may really enjoy the neighborhoods that I'm going to put on this list. Of course, you are entitled to your own tastes, and wherever you want to rest your head is perfectly up to you. But they've asked me my opinion, so I'm going to give my opinion. There's no judgment there. These are just the places that appeal to me. So if you're interested in hearing my list of places and some of the best neighborhoods to live in DC, then keep watching. Oh, by the way, before I go, I know a lot of people don't know my name because they're coming across my channel for the first time. And my name is Rogan. This is this Bahamian gal because I am in fact Bahamian. And this is your ultimate guide to Washington and the Bahamas. So, Lego. So one of the things I'm gonna be doing in this video is giving like a report card uh, throughout the video for each area, so be sure to look out for that. So the first place I'm gonna kick it off with is Capitol Hill. I absolutely love Capitol Hill. It's a very famous uh, neighborhood, and of course I'm sure you all have heard about it due to the fact that we have the US Capitol in Capitol Hill. Um, I love this area because it has a nice little mixture of families. You'll see a lot of uh, single professionals. You'll see a lot of um, um, uh, nuclear families, you know, a lot of parks with people going, taking their kids, lots of restaurants and bars, um, some really nice schools in the area. Um, it just feels very safe. I know that they've had issues in the past, but um, I've been in this area for um, a while and I, I absolutely love the area. I think it's, it's really cool. I've never felt um, unsafe walking in the area. I, I go exercising in the area um, from time to time and it just feels really good. And I love being able to sort of walk on my commute and see the, um, the Capitol. And you'll see a lot of like government workers in this area as well. It's also really good with the Metro. There's a subway station. Um, so if you don't want to drive, because parking is kind of scarce in this area too. If you don't want to drive, you can definitely um, hop the Metro and be on your way. Now, I cannot vouch for the metro because i have friends who catch the metro and they say sometimes it's great sometimes it's not um but at least it's public transportation there are lots of buses of course that are around so you'll be fine in this area i love capitol hill um and it's just a really beautiful place it's like, it's like a nice little mix of residential because you have a lot of um, residents who have their own homes and you have a, a healthy mix of renters as well like myself um, but it just feels like a really nice area and I think a lot of people who are coming into the um, into the city would do well to consider this area for um, for living whether they're buying a home or a condo apartment whatever um, I think they'll really love the area so here's that report card Georgetown is another one of my favorites like when I first um, thought about moving to DC I've read so much about Georgetown and it just really appealed to me. I like a nice eclectic mix of boutiques and restaurants and um, people. I just like to see diversity in any city that I move to. And um, you'll definitely get that. It's a very touristy area, so you have to be prepared for that. Any place that is touristy will have a lot of foot traffic, so that could be a bit of an annoyance for someone who is um, uh, who's renting in the area, who moves to the area, you have to deal with a lot of foot traffic. It can also be a good thing, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Um, if you're in that area and you like seeing people, you like people watching, you like feeling like you're not alone in the city, then you're going to love Georgetown. I also love the fact that, you know, um, it's not it's a quick walk to the water. So if you're a water person, you, you like waterfront property, or you like to just be able to go to lunch and, and look at the ocean, or the water rather, um, this is definitely the place for you. You know, 
lots of bakeries. So it's just a cute little spot. I mean, I've always been in Georgetown and just felt like, it, it almost feels like you're on a Hollywood movie. That's the way I feel when I go there. I really love Georgetown and it's really safe. Now, as it, go, as, as it relates to like public transportation, you are gonna have a bit of a challenge. There is no Metro line in Georgetown, but um, you can definitely get around. I would suggest you have a car, even if it's like a little small car because the road isn't that wide and parking is kind of scarce, but I think you'd really enjoy um, living there. Of course, Georgetown <clears throat> University is also there. So if you're moving here for school, um, I think that would be a great option as well because then you definitely wouldn't need a car. And when you do need a car, it's just to, you know, to go out shopping for, you know, groceries or that sort of thing. But there are all sorts of stores around where you can really um, have a good quality of life in Georgetown. So it's definitely one of my favorite places and it's also very safe. So here's my report card on that. Next up on the list is Foxhall Crescents. I think it's Crescents or Crescent, Foxhall anyway. I think this might be one of my absolute favorite neighborhoods in DC. This is in the Northwest quadrant of the city. And it's just so serene, just so incredibly, so peaceful. It's, it's, it's a really peaceful place. It has lots of um, vegetation, lots of um, uh, trees. It just feels cooler in that area too, because I guess because of all of the trees, you'll find a lot of wealthy folks living in this area, a lot of well-to-do um, residents. And um, the majority of them, I think, own their own homes. So you do have apartments, but I, I think like a lot of single family homes, are, like that's what dominates the area. They have really good schools. They're like B-rated schools, maybe some A-rated schools, but Again, another place that you can walk and feel very safe. This has been ranked as like one of the safest areas in the city. It's going to be pricey because like I said, you have a lot of well-to-do residents there. So, um, and I'm not assuming that everybody who's looking to move here is looking to rent. Some people might be looking for houses as well. So um, you're definitely going to find houses. You're going to be shelling out quite a number of, of dollars. I've seen million dollar homes, um, some homes, 500, 600, 700,000 dollars. Um, it, it's pricey, but if you can afford it, it's so worth it because it really is a beautiful part of town. And I feel like it has a nice little mix where it doesn't feel so stuffy, you know, because you have you have some really nice restaurants. And I always look at restaurants and bars and like nice little boutiques, as, you know, they, they enhance your life because you don't want to just go into a place where you have a nice home, but there's nothing to do around. Um, so definitely Fox Hall is like one of my favorite places. If I could afford to live there, I would. I really and truly would. Um, I used to be so in love with Georgetown. I still do love it, but I think Fox Hall is more my my speed because it's just so it's so quiet, and that's my thing. You know, I like I like I like peace and quiet. So I think you'd love it too. Here's a report card for that. H Street Corridor. I think my first experience here was about two years ago. I went there to a restaurant, and I really love the area. Now. It's not the safest place in DC, but it's also not the most dangerous. Uh, you know, you, you gotta have your wits about you. Um, when I was walking into the restaurant, I didn't feel unsafe, and it was in the nighttime as well. It can get a bit um, isolated, but um, I love the mix of artsy, artsy fartsy, artsy fartsy, like boutiques and galleries and, and, and cafes. It's very artsy, I like art and it has um, the railway track, so you won't have to worry about uh, public transportation. You'll get around, you definitely get around. And I like that I saw different types of faces. It wasn't very homogenous. You know, I saw black people, I saw Hispanic people, I saw Asian people, I saw straight people, I saw gay people, you know what I mean? So it's, I, I like a good, healthy mix of, of folks. And I saw that in H Street Corridor, I think. It's definitely worth considering um, when you're looking for a place in DC. It's not one of those places like, I would necessarily say, oh, this is a tourist area, but I do see a lot of tourists going to the area because they, you know, people get a little bored with the usual fare. You know, some people are like over Georgetown or they're over going downtown. They want to go the H Street Corridor. And so I would definitely suggest you go there if you really want to experience a nice part of the city too. And here's that report card. Next up is Foggy Bottom. Why is this airplane passing right when I want to talk? Or is that a ghetto bird? Oh, it's a chopper. Oh, it's two. 
Okay, they're gonna be here for a while. Okay, Foggy Bottom. So I love Foggy Bottom. First of all, when I first heard of Foggy Bottom, I was like, what kind of name is Foggy Bottom? It sounded like Soggy Bottom. But, <laughs> this is a place where like uh, the White House is just west of here. And I love this area. I think I first went here to the doctor. I had like a doctor's visit because you'll find a lot of like um, laboratories and doctors and banks and that sort of thing in Foggy Bottom. There are tons of renters here. I feel like Foggy Bottom is dominated, I feel, by renters more than anything. I could be wrong, but it seems like a lot more renters are there. And this also has a nice mix of everything that you could be looking for with your bars, your restaurants, your clubs, um, shopping, a lot of great shopping in Foggy Bottom. I love this area. Um, it's also been ranked as like one of the safest areas in DC, consistently been in, in, in like on lists as one of the safest areas. This wasn't always the case because in the 80s and the 90s, Foggy Bottom was about that life, okay? They were notorious. It was notorious for crime. Um, but they really cleaned their act up. And um, you'll find a lot of working professionals moving to Foggy Bottom. It's not um, difficult like, to see if you're walking down the street, lots of people suited up and going to get a, a quick bite from a restaurant. Um, and I like it. It doesn't feel so congested to me. And that's also important. Um, you'll find a lot of parking decks here. Um, cause parking is always kind of like really tricky in, in the city, but at least you'll find parking decks. It'll, it'll cost you, but you'll find at least some parking decks where you can park, um, which will be really helpful. And, um, I think there was ample street parking when I was down there, if memory serves me correctly. So I think, you know, if you move into the area, it's safe. It's near the white house. Um, you'll find all the eateries that you like and you'll be in the company of other renters. So I think you'll really enjoy Foggy Bottom. This name, I will never like this Foggy Bottom, Soggy Bottom name anyway. Anyway, next on the list. Oh, here's a report card, here's a report card. Adams Morgan is another area that I absolutely loved when I read about it. When I read about this place, and I saw images on TV, I was like, I gotta go to this place. Like, this is the place where I feel like I feel most at home. You know, I like a nice eclectic mix. It's artsy, you know, a nice mix of, you know, well, it's, it feels like more of a young population in Adams Morgan. But anyway, a nice little mix, you know? Um, if you're LGBTQIA, you would definitely feel right at home here. Um, and I think that's very important because it's definitely a safe space for you. Or your family members it's not uncommon to see trans people walking around and nobody's bothering them it's a very um safe area in that respect and a lot of businesses will let you know straight up that you're welcome and anybody who is causing trouble you are not welcome you can skedaddle so if you are a member of lgbtqia you're gonna absolutely love it um lots of eateries lots of bars um i went into a pool hall the other day well actually it was a bar but they had a nice little billiards table and I really enjoyed my time there. Um, and I'll, I'll insert a photo or something in, in this video so you can see it, you should check them out. Um, here's what I did not like about Adams Morgan. There's definitely um, a disparity when it comes to wealth. Like the people there seem to be very uber rich, like very, they got some money, right? And I remember just kind of like walking the neighborhood and it just didn't give me that beautiful place gorgeous place you'll you'll love living there for you know the surroundings if nothing else but i didn't feel welcome i didn't feel welcome there um it just seemed very cold you know it just seemed very cold um and then the parking was horrendous it was horrendous you're gonna have a difficult time finding parking if you have a car you might not need a car Especially if you're moving here for school or you're just, you're, st you're just starting out and you want to take public transportation, I say go for that because parking is was a nightmare to find when I was just visiting. I can't even imagine if every night when I'm coming home from work or coming out from, from being out, I have to find parking. It's going to be horrendous. So that's something you have to definitely consider when moving to Adams Morgan. But those two things are the things that really um, I don't like. But as far as safety, I felt safe. And I felt like it's just the kind of vibe that I like. The houses were beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Especially when you, you turn certain corners, you're like, whoa, these folks got some serious money. Um, and then the apartments that I saw, some of them were nice and some were not so nice. So you have to find a, a really pretty decent apartment if, you, if you're gonna live in this area. 
And of course it depends on your budget and your preferences as well. But I even even though I said like I, I didn't get a warm vibe, <clears throat> a warm vibe from Adams Morgan, I still would live there um, just off of the fact that I love the surroundings and I love the accessibility and the diversity that I saw wasn't really with color, you know, like with, with like different color people, but more so with um, LGBTQIA, you know, it's diverse in that sense. Um, but I think I'd still leave it on my list because it really is a beautiful area that I think a lot of people would enjoy. And I'm sure there are people who live in Adams Morgan who have amazing experiences. Um, I don't live in Adams Morgan. I'm just going off of my past experiences um, in the area, in the neighborhood. Um, and you know, for that reason, I don't like it, but I do still love it. And that's why it's on my list. So I still think you should give it a chance, especially again, if you're LG, uh, LG, uh, yep, Jesus, so many letters to remember, LGQ, what is it? LGBTQIA, LGB, look at y'all need one letter, okay? Just give me one letter, the group, or say, you know, that's what I'm gonna call y'all, the group. If you remember the group, you'll be good there. Next up on the list is DuPont Circle. I actually like DuPont Circle. Now mind you, it definitely is an urban jungle. It can get really congested, really tight. You'll be fighting for parking. I don't like those elements of DuPont Circle, but I do love the surroundings. I do love that it just seems very eclectic and it seems very fun to live in. Like it really seems like a fun, fun area to be in. And I think you'd love pulling up to your home every single day. Um, like I said, parking is really tight as well, but there's lots of public transportation. There's also a metro station. A lot of people get off at DuPont, and so that makes it very accessible. Um, a lot of government, this, this is DC, so you're gonna find a lot of government workers. So a lot of uh, people, uh, government workers uh, live in the area, a lot of tech people, um, just a healthy mix, a lot of young folks. You do see some older um, residents as well, and I love to see that because I like a healthy balance. Um, as far as crime is concerned, it's a relatively safe area as well with some nice schools, some decent schools, um, if you have children. And uh, I think you'll have fun in that area as well. DuPont is really, really nice. Um, a lot of well-to-do uh, residents live there and you just will not be short on options of places to eat. Um, and I, I would suggest too, like, you know, if you're gonna come into the city and you're thinking about, even if you're just like on vacation, you're visiting, like really hit up some of these spots that I'm telling you about because um, you really get a good feel for for it. My my, I don't have children, so I'm not looking at the schools. I I mentioned them because I know a lot of people have kids, um, so that's important to them. The schools not really important to me, um, but you know I like just to feel like the area is safe, it's clean, um, it's fun. But there are also some side streets that, you know, are very quiet and peaceful and that's what appeals to me. I think DuPont Circle should definitely be one of the places that you consider in your search. And here's the report card. Next up on the list is Mount Pleasant. Uh, this is in the Northwest uh, section of DC and it's next to Rock Creek Park. It's not far from Rock Creek Park, which I absolutely love. Um, I love this area, it just seems so, so full of nature, lots, lots of trees, lots of foliage, lots of, you know, it's just like a perfect little area. I feel that's tucked away from everything. I, I think you really love it. It's also north of Adams Morgan, and it's been consistently ranked as one of the best places in DC to live. This is Mount Pleasant, and I could see why. Like just driving through the area, like you get a feel for like, okay, it's, it, I think it feels more neighborly than a lot of areas that I've been in too. Um, and that could be due to the fact that you have some older residents there. You know, I'm sure after a while they've been living next to each other, they get to know each other. Um, but I definitely like Mount Pleasant. I think this is gonna be like a consideration for me when it's time to move. I may definitely consider this area if I don't make the trek and just move out to Virginia altogether. I think I might definitely consider Mount Pleasant because I really do um, enjoy that area. I can't afford Fox Hall yet. Your girl about to blow up though. Um, <laughs> but I can't afford Fox Hall, but I think I think Mount Pleasant is really, really sweet. And I think it definitely needs to be on your list of places to look for. Next up on the list is Brooklyn. 
I think that's how it's pronounced, not Brooklyn. But it's Brooklyn, but not Brooklyn like in New York. Brooklyn. I love this area. Brooklyn isn't a college town per se, but it does have some, some universities and colleges there that a lot of people gravitate towards. It's a very quiet area. Again, you're gonna find a lot of local mom and pop shops that you're going to fall in love with because it just it just it breeds familiarity. You get to know the people. It's not like just you know going to a regular Starbucks or different places. And um, you'll find a lot of young professionals here. It's perfect for singles and families and uh, lots of historic landmarks. Uh, you're gonna find the Basilica there, the Catholic Basilica. Um, lots of opportunities to take photos, lots of spaced out area. So you're not gonna feel as congested as you would in a lot of the other um, neighborhoods that I mentioned. And here's the report card. Next up on the list is Tacoma, not to be confused with Tacoma Park, because Tacoma Park, you gotta have some dollars. You gotta have buku dollars. I like Tacoma, nice little neighborhood. I think you really like this, and here's why. First of all, if you are a couple or you have a small family, you're gonna love it here, because Tacoma has like an urban feel, but this is still the kind of place, you know, that you get to know your neighbors, and there's a strong sense of community here. Tacoma is also very liberal. Um, do not confuse it with Tacoma Park, which is in Maryland, and over there prices tend to be um, much higher. In Tacoma, the prices tend to be a little cheaper than other houses, but I love the fact that you can find a lot of um, nice greenery in the area, some, some mom and pop shops, some nice restaurants. It's just a really nice area for families. So if you're moving here with a family, I think you're gonna love Tacoma. Plus, the prices on the houses are cheaper than a lot of other places. That doesn't mean that they're dirt cheap because you do have to spend somewhere like 300,000, 400,000 and up in Tacoma, but the houses tend to be a little on the older side because like I said, there's a lot of historic homes in the area, but you'll love Tacoma. Anyway, kiddies, I hope that you all enjoyed this video on the 10 best places to live in DC. I love these neighborhoods. They're not perfect. A lot of them are not perfect. Um, but I think if you're gonna relocate, like they're, they definitely deserve a, a second look or a first look um, for so many reasons. And I think you'd be really, really happy. I, you know, I said in one of my earlier videos that DC really had to grow on me. Like when I moved here, I was not a fan of this, this place at all. But once I started getting out and exploring, once I started seeing different neighborhoods and interacting with different people, I really did start to fall in love with the city. Um, it's just so beautiful. It has its, its shabby areas like most places in the world. No place is like absolutely 100% perfect. But for the most part, like, I really like it here. I really do. And um, I'm not saying I'm going to be here forever, but I really do. I'm enjoying my time here. And I, I, if you're going to move here, definitely consider these areas that I've highlighted. Um, if you have questions, drop them down below in the comment section. I'm happy to, to answer any questions that you have. If you live in these areas and you could offer some perspective um, on what it's like to live there, what you like, what you don't like, drop them down below as well. I'm very eager to hear from you guys. Um, anything else I wanted to add? Some of these places are expensive. Living in DC is expensive. It's one of the, the most expensive cities uh, in, in the United States. So that comes with the territory. Um, I would also say to you, if you're looking for, if you're a, you're a renter, Really consider looking for condos to rent. Um, that's what I, I, I've done. And I think you get a better deal that way. And it's more personal um, when you're dealing with you know your landlord. Um, so definitely consider that, especially when you're looking to cut costs. Um, but don't give up on your search for a home or an apartment. Just keep going, because I, I, I was so close to giving up, but I'm glad I just kept trucking because I got the place that I really love and an area that I absolutely adore. So I hope that you have uh, a similar experience when you are apartment or house searching. It's a beautiful city and just take the time to drive around. I think you will absolutely love it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all those folks, those wonderful subscribers and people who just came across my channel who asked me this question. We were already, we're like this because I was already thinking about it, but so many of you, so many of you asked about like, come on, tell me something like the areas and. By the time I comment down below, it's like, okay, listen, somebody's gonna ask me this question again and again and again. So now I can just point them to my video and say, hey, check out the video where I highlight like my, my personal favorites. And um, again, 
You can find much cheaper places in the city. You can. Um, and you don't have to like what I like. That's fine. This is what I like. And I hope that you enjoy these neighborhoods as well. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Rogan. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go on my blog, www.thisbahamiangal.com. And I will see you all in the final Wednesday in the month. So I'll see you in June. Bye. Love you.